Hi everybody. So this video is going to discuss whether the trig functions, the six of them, are odd or even functions. In order to do that, we probably need to remind ourselves, since it's quite some time ago, what even and odd functions means. For an even function, you need to be able to show that when you put in the negative x, you'll get the same answer as a positive x. For example, when we had y equals x squared, if you put in 2, we could make that, let's make that f of x so it's clearer. If f of x equals x squared, f of 2 is 2 squared is 4, and f of negative 2, negative 2 squared is also 4 f of x equals x squared, x squared is an even function because when we put both a positive x and the negative x in we get the same answer. An odd function is a function in which when you put in the negative x value you get the negative of the answer you get when you put in the positive. Best and easiest example of that is x cubed f of 2, 2 to the third power is 8, and f of negative 2 is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. This is an odd function because when you put in the negative x, you get a negative output, you get a negative y. Okay, so we're going to use that information and talk about the trig functions and which ones are odd and which ones are even. I think the easiest thing to do is to use, uh, let's use pi over 4. Okay, our coordinates are, you should know, radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2. So we should be able to come up with our sine, cosine, and so on, right? Alright, we should get, um, my sine is radical 2 over 2, my cosine is radical 2 over 2, my tangent, y over x, if I divide my y by my x, I get 1, don't I? My cotan is going to be 1. Let's write these down. Sine, I'll just call it theta, is radical 2 over 2. My cosine is also radical 2 over 2. My tan is 1. The reciprocal of my tan should also be 1, shouldn't it? my secant, which is going to be the reciprocal of cosine 2 over radical 2, that turns out to be radical 2, and my cosecant, which is also 2 over radical 2, is radical 2. I'll leave you to do that math. Take the reciprocal of 2 over radical 2 and you'll get radical 2. So that is what we get when we put in positive so in this case, my theta is positive pi over 4, this point right here. Okay, so my question is then, what happens when you put in negative pi over 4? In other words, pi over 4 in the other direction. It's actually 7 pi over 4. The coterminal positive angle is 7 pi over 4. But this point right here, the coordinates are what? radical 2 over 2 and negative radical 2 over 2. My x is still positive but my y is negative. My x is positive but my y is negative. Okay, let's write them. So when my angle is negative pi over 4, what happens? My sine is now negative radical 2 over 2. My cosine is radical 2 over 2. My tan, when I divide y by x, I get negative 1. My cotan is also negative 1. My secant, which is the reciprocal of my cosine, is positive radical 2 because my cosine was positive and my cosecant is negative radical 2 because my sine was negative. So the question is which trig functions 
when you put in, I'm going to change my color here, when I put in my negative x, or when I put in my negative angle, do I get the same answer as my positive? Those are my even functions. What are they? Cosine and its reciprocal secant. Those are the only two where the trig function or the answer we get back is the same whether it's a positive angle or a negative angle. So my even functions are cosine and secant. What about the rest of them? Positive was positive, negative was negative. Tan and cotan, one. Tan and cotan of the negative angle were negative one. Cosecant was radical two. Cosecant of the negative angle was negative radical two. So what does that mean? That means that those are odd functions. So the rest are odd. We'll list them. That's sine, cosecant, tan, and cotan. So bottom line here is that when we do a positive and negative angle, the only coordinate that stays the same is the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate changes signs. So any trig function that has strictly an x in it without a y is going to stay the same. And the only case that only trig functions for which that's true are cosine, which is x, and secant, which is its reciprocal. So those are the only two that are even. The rest change sign, therefore they're odd. And that's even and odd trig functions. Later.